Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session the 24th of May 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals for market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app at the, at the uh, www.tradesignal.com or the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, markets, then it's been quite a turbulent um, 24 hours, shall we say, uh, in terms of the markets. Now, let's see exactly what's happened. So, uh, U.S. markets certainly recover from that uh, potential concerns regarding China trade war, which still persist, and also North Korean summit as well, which still persists as well, with Mr. Kim Jong-un now criticising Mr. Pence for uh, claiming that uh, North Korea will, will end up being like Libya, but that certainly isn't the case, well, according to the Chinese anyway, if they have any say. So that should be interesting. So at the moment, really, I think North Korea really is just a proxy war. It's uh, America's might versus or America's decline versus China's uh, obviously rise, uh, and it was certainly attempting to stem China's strength and uh, and in its military and its uh, economy. And, and really, it's futile because Chinese are too strong now, and they've certainly overpowered America already, from my understanding, and I think everybody else's understanding as well. Uh, it's not about obviously denying them; it's more about prevention now in terms of their growth. And realistically, with this China One Belt, um, certainly One Road, it really is. Um, a uh, futile, uh, and also obviously with Saudi now as well, and the UAE, etc. A strength and jobs, etc., is all going to Asia now. Okay, Europe's uh, sort of rise and America's rise is more or less over. Okay, given the fact that those countries are certainly developing, developing very, very fast indeed, and have very hungry consumers that are young, uh, and certainly everything certainly seems to be going in that direction. Okay, so uh, uh, again, concerns regarding that as well. Also, you've got concerns regarding Italy. The political stalemate and the uncertainty there and also with regards to Turkey as well and emerging markets given the fact that Turkey's lira certainly has been uh, on decline and we had a rapid 300 basis point rise in interest rates and again that's going to cause more turbulence and more uncertainty as well okay so take those factors into play too okay uh, in terms of uh, overnight session we had the Americans certainly stating that they are potentially um, imposing a 25 percent ten tariff on all imported cars due to new national security a load of Bullshit, really, to be honest with you. It's just an excuse, really, to for Trump to win the next election by the sound of things. So, again, domestic politics certainly clouding their judgment to a large extent and also their hatred for immigrants and it's a racist individual. Really, from my perspective, is a racist prick. But either way, it is, <laughs> that is the case. That is the status quo. We just have to deal with it. Okay, we've got more in the White House and we hopefully not for not, hopefully not another four years. Either way, we just have to deal with it. So... Uh, get back to trading, not to politics. Okay, so again, that is a cause for concern as well. So you have Italy, and you have uh, concerns uh, with regards to uh, Turkey as well, with its lira and its free fall, and that's affecting emerging markets as well. You have concerns regarding um, uh, China trade war. You have concerns regarding North Korea as well. Also, the Iranian situation is still in the background as well. So as if that wasn't enough, and um, we had the Fed yesterday that was certainly on the dovish side. So again, let's see how that plays out as well. Okay, so. A lot of fundamentals to digest, folks. A lot of fundamentals. Now, this morning, we've just had the latest news uh, regarding China. China, let's have a look here. Um, again, that news flow with regards to China. Let me just reiterate that. Again, it's uh, reducing its tariffs on consumer goods. So, again, that certainly does bode well for the uh, for the actual uh, uh, international markets in terms of exports there. So, again, bear that in mind. Also, you did have China coming in and supporting the euro. Okay, so again, that certainly has caused a potential euro rally as well. Uh, also, Mr. Priat saying concerns regarding Italy and its yield spiking as well, given the fact that his bonds uh, are out in the bond market. Okay, so again, that's a, so China consumer tariff cut is said to take effect from 1st of July. So again, that certainly is a sign that they're opening the markets there. Uh, also, in terms of um, uh, European data this morning as well, German exports were down, German imports were down. So that certainly is a a crucial uh, data point from my perspective and certainly doesn't bode well for European equities okay so take that into consideration too especially with the dollar topping out as well euro dollar and GBP USD certainly going to rise that will certainly hurt those indices too also the UK retail sales came in stronger than expected uh, UK retail sales came in stronger than expected now that's another factor to consider uh, given the fact that the East the, the BOE um, certainly are on pause so again a stronger retail sales number indicates that the BOE certainly will uh, come off that pause button and again our rate hikes are negative for the uk okay so i think that's a good summation let's look at european equities now uh okay german dax in the weekly chart has held that 55 percent which i've been 
sort of uh, talking about for the last uh, few days. Okay, so that certainly has held. Daily chart has held previous support equals resistance. We're still in this channel. Let's see if we can break out of this channel. Uh, bear in mind the 60-minute chart does have that H&S formation, which obviously goes in concert with the larger H&S formation, as you can see here, right shoulder. So certainly looking for that potential pattern to play out on the weekly chart. 60-minute chart on the German DAX. We've bounced on that pivot low, which of support was seen around the 12.930 zone. Obviously, we've bounced here. We're coming into resistance now, looking for this right shoulder, and looking to flush and looking to close the, uh, the gaps below at 12.690 and uh, 12,500. So those two gaps certainly looking to close. So watch out for those gaps below, folks. Okay, so uh, we still have that unfilled gap above. But very unlikely for it to be closed, given the... Uh, geopolitics surrounding the markets at present okay that's the uh, my view on the german dax in terms of the french cac uh, certainly impressive move here pushing back up now uh, bouncing of that 5550 zone daily chart as well uh, holding that previous uh, resistance equal support so watch out there 60 minute chart again uh, the question is do we close the gap and then flush that's the question okay um, i am actually turning bearish on the french cac so any potential uh, 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 thrust higher here from my perspective is a lower high and then obviously looking for a lower low okay full c100 weekly chart is putting a topping tail for me that certainly is a top on the footsie okay so you're looking to potentially position to short side now on the footsie 100 given it's uh, eight week rally very very impressive unprecedented as well okay again still holding that previous resistance equal support bearish engulfing candle is in on the daily chart so any any potential rally now, any pop now, from my perspective, is a sell-off. And this is what we call a breakout or fault, fault, fake out, shall we say. And then looking to potentially reverse quite sharply in the south side. Okay, the 60-minute chart on the uh, FTSE at the moment. Uh, again, uh, you did have support around this region here, around the 7760 zone. That's exactly where we touched yesterday. We did actually close the gap. So, again, that was quite important. The gap was closed around the 7780 zone. We hit a pivot low of around 7765 okay now we're looking to potentially pop here any pop will be capped at uh, 7805 uh, 7810 and then 7820 and then eventually 7835 so watch out for those uh, potential pops if we do get that okay again 7805 and then 7810 and 7820 so let's watch out for those zones you do have the unfilled gap at 7880 as well so just bear that in mind too Okay, I think that's a good summation, really, of European equities. A lot of conflicting signals in terms of fundamentals out there. Really, you could certainly take any side and argue for it. So it's going to be tough and therefore expect a lot of volatility as well. But U.S. equities certainly under pressure. Oil prices are coming under pressure now as well, given the uh, protectionism uh, rhetoric as well coming out of the U.S. again. So that certainly doesn't bode well. Uh, and let's see how the market unfolds. Again, uh, it's very hard to forecast a market at present. Certainly either direction is, is, is fair game. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com. Certainly take advantage of the bonus there. And uh, be sure to uh, download the latest trade signal app. Goodbye now.